Did you know that there are over 1,100 UNESCO World Heritage Sites spread across 167 countries? That's right, over a thousand marvels of nature and human ingenuity, each site a testament to our planet's diverse history and culture. So what are these sites and why do they matter? Well, UNESCO World Heritage Sites are landmarks or areas of outstanding universal value. They are selected by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO for short, on the basis of fulfilling at least one out of 10 selection criteria. These criteria range from representing a masterpiece of human creative genius to containing superlative natural phenomena or areas of exceptional natural beauty and aesthetic importance. Why are they important, you ask? These sites are not just about beauty or history. Their designation as World Heritage Sites ensures their protection. They are preserved so future generations can appreciate and learn from them. They are tangible reminders of where we've come from, what we've achieved, and sometimes the mistakes we've made. For travelers, these sites offer a unique experience. They allow us to step back in time, to walk in the footsteps of those who came before us. They remind us of our shared heritage, of the threads of history and culture that bind us together as a human race. Each site tells a story, a narrative steeped in history, culture, or natural wonder that can leave us awestruck, inspired, or reflective. From the grandeur of Paris, the ancient charm of Rome, to the historic significance of the Tower of London, these sites are a testament to our natural and cultural history. They are more than just places. They are narratives, histories, and experiences waiting to be discovered. So, buckle up and let us embark on a journey to some of these remarkable sites. First stop, the romantic city of Paris, specifically the banks of the Seine. A river of romance, the Seine, has been the lifeblood of Paris since time immemorial. It's not just a waterway, it's a thread that weaves the city's past to its present, shaping its identity in ways that few rivers have ever done for their cities. From humble beginnings as a small settlement on the Ile de la Cité, Paris grew into the luminous city it is today, largely because of this majestic river. As we journey along the Seine, we encounter landmarks that are as iconic as they are diverse. The Notre Dame, a masterpiece of French Gothic architecture, stands majestically on the Ile de la Cité, the birthplace of Paris. The cathedral's twin towers, rose windows, and flying buttresses are a sight to behold, a testament to the city's architectural prowess. Just a stone's throw away on the right bank, you'll find the Louvre, the world's largest art museum, and a historic monument in Paris. This former royal palace is now home to an unparalleled collection of art and historical artifacts, including the famed Mona Lisa and the Venus de Milo. Now, let's talk travel tips. The banks of the Seine are best explored at a leisurely pace. Take a stroll along the river, especially at sunset when the city lights begin to twinkle. You'll find bookstalls, artists, and even musicians adding color to your walk. And if you're up for a different perspective, hop on a boat tour. It's a, a fantastic way to see the city with many tour operators offering nighttime cruises that showcase the city beautifully illuminated. Whether you're a history buff, an art lover, or simply a romantic at heart, the banks of the Seine have something to offer you. It's not just about the landmarks, it's about the atmosphere, the vibe, the joie de vivre that permeates every cobblestone and every ripple in the water. The banks of the Seine truly encapsulates the heart and soul of Paris. Next, we journey to the eternal city, Rome, a city whose history resounds in every corner of the world, Rome stands as a testament to the grandeur of the past. It is the city that once ruled the known world, a city that, in its heart, still echoes with the footsteps of emperors and gladiators. Here, history is not confined to the pages of books, but sprawled across the cityscape in the form of awe-inspiring monuments and ruins. The Colosseum, an iconic symbol of Rome, narrates tales of exhilarating gladiator fights and spectacles that once held an audience of about 50,000. A stone's throw away is the Roman Forum, the bustling heart of the ancient city, where you can almost hear the phantom debates of senators that shaped the destiny of Rome. Then, we have the Vatican City, a city-state ensconced within Rome. It is the spiritual and administrative headquarters of the Roman Catholic Church, and houses the majestic St. Peter's Basilica and the Sistine Chapel, 
renowned for Michelangelo's breathtaking frescoes. Navigating Rome is an adventure in itself. The city's public transportation, including its metro, buses, and trams, are efficient ways to explore Rome's historical treasures. They are not just modes of travel, but also windows to the city's daily life, offering glimpses of Rome beyond the tourist's lens. Timing your visit to Rome is also crucial. While summer brings vibrant life and warmth, it also brings crowds. The off-peak seasons of early spring and late autumn offer a more leisurely exploration of the city. The weather is mild, the city less crowded, and the monuments stand in their timeless grace, ready to narrate their stories to those willing to listen. Rome, a city that has seen the rise and fall of one of the greatest empires in history, a city that has nurtured great minds and witnessed epical events. It is a city that invites you to walk its ancient streets, to touch its weathered stones, and to listen to its silent tales. Rome, a city where every turn takes you to a journey back in time. Crossing over to the United Kingdom, we find ourselves in the historic Westminster and the Tower of London. Our journey brings us to the heart of British monarchy, a place where tradition, history, and politics intertwine, the magnificent Westminster. A treasure trove of iconic landmarks, Westminster's story is deeply entrenched in the history of Britain. The Westminster Abbey, a Gothic masterpiece, has been the coronation church since the 11th century. It has witnessed the crowning of every English and British monarch since William the Conqueror, a testament to its enduring significance. Just a stone's throw away, we find the Houses of Parliament, a symbol of British democracy. The building, with its distinctive Gothic revival architecture, houses the two chambers of the British Parliament, the House of Commons and the House of Lords. Remember, if you're planning a visit, it's best to book your tickets in advance. Now, let's tread the path of kings, queens, and prisoners as we head towards the Tower of London. Once a royal palace, the tower has a dark past as a prison where many met their untimely end. It's a place where stories of power, treachery, and precious jewels unfold. Not to forget its home to the crown jewels. An impressive collection of regalia boasting over 23,000 precious gemstones. The tower is best explored with a guide who can bring its thousand-year history to life. It's a place where the past meets the present, where every stone has a tale to tell. Visiting Westminster and the Tower of London is an unforgettable journey through time. It's a chance to immerse oneself in British history, to walk the halls once trodden by monarchs, to gaze upon centuries-old artifacts, and to marvel at architectural masterpieces. So, come prepared, lace up your most comfortable shoes and bring your curiosity. These places aren't just about seeing, they're about experiencing, understanding, and appreciating the depth of history that they embody. Westminster and the Tower of London, where history and tradition stand tall. Our last stop takes us to the charming city of Amsterdam and its famous Canal Ring. This enchanting cityscape, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is a testament to the city's innovative spirit and rich history. The Canal Ring, or Grachtengordel as the locals call it, was established in the 17th century during the Dutch Golden Age, an era of great wealth and power for the Netherlands. Remarkably, this expansive network of canals was an engineering marvel of its time. It was carefully designed to facilitate trade and transport and to manage the city's water levels. Today it stands as a testament to Amsterdam's innovative spirit and architectural prowess. The Canal Ring is not just a beautiful sight to behold, but it's also a reflection of the city's unique character and way of life. The narrow, tall houses that line the canals are as iconic as the waterways themselves. These charming structures with their gabled facades are a reminder of the city's historic wealth and status. And how best to experience this marvel, you might wonder? Well, there's no better way than to take a canal cruise or rent a bike, two very Amsterdam-esque ways to explore the city. A leisurely cruise offers a picturesque view of the cityscape, while a bike ride gives a more intimate feel of the city's pulse. The Amsterdam Canal Ring a testament to the city's rich history and innovative spirit. These are just a handful of the many UNESCO World Heritage Sites that await you. Uncover the chronicles etched in the stones of Rome, marvel at the architectural masterpieces on the banks of the Seine, lose yourself in the labyrinth of Westminster, or sail through history in Amsterdam's Canal Ring, 
dive deeper, seek out resources, and immerse yourself in these cultural treasures. So pack your bags, open your minds, and embark on a journey of discovery to these incredible UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Their stories are waiting to be heard.